Hey, this is Jen from Midnight Sky Fibers, and I'm here to talk to you today about what makes yarn vegan. For those of you who don't know me, Midnight Sky Fibers is a natural dye studio, and I use only natural dyes and non-toxic mordants for making yarn and hand-spun yarn. Uh, the biggest difference between vegan yarn and non-vegan yarn is that vegan yarn includes no animal products. No wool, no alpaca, no silk, nothing. Additionally, the dyes for vegan yarns contain no animal and insect products. So no cochineal and no lac for those of you who like the naturally dyed yarns. Um, the first, a disclaimer, the downside for vegan yarn is that vegan yarns um, can often be over-processed. Soy, silk, and bamboo yarns can use a lot of chemicals in both the growing, processing, bleaching, and dyeing. Um, but the good news is, is there are a lot of more earth-friendly products out there for those of you who don't want to use just reclaimed products uh, for your yarns. Um, there are two big types of vegan yarns out there, natural and processed. Natural yarns would be hemp and aloe um, are probably the best examples of those. Um, they are rutted and, and don't use a big chemical process. Uh, they're very natural. They tend to be a little bit more scratchy and harder to work with, um, as you're probably familiar if you've ever done macrame. Uh, processed yarns can be very soft. Um, we've been developing them for a really long time, and they are everything from bamboo, soy silk, nylon, corn. Um, they can look and feel just like um, everything from silk to cashmere. Um, dye it beautifully and they are frequently um, processed in ways that make them really into really interesting and unique yarns like ribbon yarns or eyelash yarns. Uh, there are also a number of vegan blends out there that you can get now that combine different uh, different fibers like cotton and soy silk together, um, especially for sock yarns, which is good because you can take advantage of the um, moisture wicking properties of cotton and but the nicer feel of soy silk that feels like silk. Um, there are also a lot of vegan novelty yarns out there um, like eyelash yarns and ribbon yarns and a lot of vegan hand spun yarn, yarns out there which can be anything from boucles uh, to simple single ply yarns made in a variety of fibers with everything from sparkle like Angelina or Firestar on up. Um, an important note though is that while a lot of yarns might appear vegan at first you have to be really careful when you're checking the list of materials that vegan yarns contain. Uh, not all dyes are vegan um, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of natural dyes come, can come from insects like black and cochineal, which are both insect-based, uh, making them not suitable for vegan yarns. Um, and you also have to watch out for processed yarns that are not vegan. Uh, they make yarn from milk fiber, and there are sock yarns out there that contain additives made from shrimp and crab shells. Um, Tofutsis would be a really good example of something that it at first appears vegan but really isn't. Uh, then when you're 